Let's look at some of the various components which go to make up the UNIVAC system and find out how they operate. This is the brain of the system, the central computer. This is where all the actual mathematical operations are performed in literally millionths of seconds. It is here we find UNIVAC's fabulous memory. Tanks of mercury in which data are kept in dynamic storage in the form of circulating pulses. Information is stored on UNIVAC's magnetic tapes, one of which is shown here being mounted on a uniservo. These tapes are used to carry information into and out of the central computer at the tremendous peak speed of over 12,000 digits per second. Since this speed is far greater than could ever be achieved manually, the tapes are prepared ahead of time on independent devices, one of which is called the unitiper. Here we see the transferring of data to the magnetic tapes. This may be done by one unitypist or several, depending on the size of the operation. If the information has previously been recorded in punched cards, the cards are placed in the feed unit of the card to tape converter, which is used in place of the manual unitiper. Now that we have our data recorded on tape, and since UNIVAC is an all-purpose computer, we can use this information to get the results we want. The only requirement now is that we tell our computer what to do, down to the smallest detail. This is the job of an individual called a programmer. One of the most highly skilled members of the UNIVAC operating team, he sets up the instructions which tell the computer what computations or operations to make. Knowing what end results are wanted, he takes the problem and breaks it down into its basic operations. First, he prepares a flowchart using a special template which has cutouts representing all the necessary arithmetic and logical symbols. He puts down every action, every arithmetic step leading to the solution. When it is finished, the flowchart illustrates the whole problem in the form of symbols. The next step is to translate the meaning of these symbols into specially coded instructions for UNIVAC. The programmer writes the instructions on code sheets. These instructions tell the computer when and what to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, when to compare certain data with other data, and where to find them, when to compare for equality or inequality, and so on. We've illustrated a very simple example of the kind of instructions which the programmer prepares when he analyzes a problem. Instructions so complete that they keep UNIVAC working automatically through to the solution, regardless of the eventualities which arise. Once they have been prepared, the instruction sheets are then forwarded to the unitypist, who then records the instructions on tape. The prepared instruction tape is then taken from the unitypist and mounted on a uniservo. Now let's see the nerve center of the UNIVAC system, the supervisory control unit. When minor corrections are needed, that is, additions to the data or alternate procedures to be followed, the supervisory control offers a direct means of manual communication with the central computer. That is all that is necessary, since UNIVAC, from this point on, is completely automatic in operation.